So welcome back. I hope you had a good holiday. I certainly did. And I wanted to give you a little update about what's coming up on this channel this year. I know these videos often don't get a lot of views because they don't have some title that promises some Photoshop technique or some lighting technique. So people don't search these out. But these videos I know only get watched by that core group of your audience who really care about what you're doing. And I hope that's you. So I wanted to just spend a little bit of time telling you about what I want to do on this channel this year and maybe how you can get involved. Those of you who've been following this channel for a while now might have seen my channel trailer where I promise only one video a month. But last year, if you were paying attention, I actually managed 24 videos in the year, so two a month. And I want to keep that as a loose goal. It's going to be tricky to reach this year because I've got a lot of travel coming up and there are some potentially big life changes coming up for me. But wherever possible, that's the goal for me. Definitely one video, but wherever I can manage, it will be two videos a month. You'll also notice in 2019 that I started to make films about other photographers and their journey and their process. And a lot of you have given really good feedback on that. They don't get the big views that the tutorials get, but honestly, it's some of my favorite stuff that I make. And a lot of you who are that core audience really seem to be connecting with it. So this year, I definitely want to carry that on. I just think it's really helpful for you to hear about how other people work, not just how I work. Because I might have something that I do very specifically, but it's not the only way to do it. And by sharing with you how lots of other photographers work and how they do what they do, it lets you know that you've got lots of avenues to choose from in terms of how you do your work. In fact, these little films are my favorite thing that I make at the moment, and it's a lot to do with the fact that I don't have to be in them. Apart from a short little intro that I usually give, I then get to step back and be behind the camera, work on getting much better shots and lighting a great interview and pulling together a great story. And as a creative exercise, I'm loving that. I featured a bunch of people in this last year, and it started with my grandfather, Dennis Field, who shared his images with me from his time in the Royal Navy in 1945, 46, and 47, including shots of Hong Kong when the tallest building was only six stories, showing the devastation of Hiroshima in Japan, showing the docks in Australia and Darwin in 1946, and photos of his patrol in the Mediterranean. And this felt like such an important video for me to make because it captured those stories for all time. It's just great. It's, it's something to pass on. I mean, my, my, some of my albums start with my great grandparents. So I go, the, you can go through from great grandparents right up to the, the uh, 21st century. Wonderful, wonderful record. And as I've made it very, very clear to the good Lord, if I can't take my, ab my albums with me, I ain't going. <laughs> We then headed out in the streets with Joshua Jackson to talk about his process for creating nighttime street images and talking about the concept of the curiosity gap and how he obscures his subjects to create some mystery. And Joshua is just a wealth of knowledge around street photography and I hope to do more videos with him going forward. I interviewed my friend Andre Vachek about his journey into the world of documentary and conflict photography, including his training in Spain with a couple of veteran conflict photographers and then sharing the experience of his first two trips to the front lines in Ukraine to get images. I then went up to the Lake District to interview Fiona Lark about how she's used photography to heal and to get an inside look about how she creates her stunning and moody self-portraits. And so many of you connected with her story and her intuitive, untechnical way of working and there have been some really meaningful interactions around that film. I traveled up to Scotland to meet up with my friend Gabrielle Matola on her tour of the Hebrides, taking portraits of strangers. And many of you found her process really interesting and her story fascinating, especially her fight with social anxiety to do something which for me is still terrifying, asking a stranger for a photo. I hit the streets with my friend Mavis to learn more about how she got into photography and why she chooses to shoot street photography on black and white film and then also chooses to develop her own work at home and how she finds this process enriches her experience of photography. And most recently I went down to the south coast to talk to Rachel Talabart about how she found her very specific direction for her work in shooting fine art photography of waves and coastlines. And many of you reached out and shared how encouraging you found her words, especially to younger people who are starting out, about the fact that you just need to be kind to yourself and take your time. So I'm definitely going to continue making these films this year and I've already got some people lined up. But I thought it might be a good idea to ask you for some help as well. And I was reluctant to do this because I know if I ask you to recommend people, there might be a bunch of people out there 
who just recommend themselves or their friends because they want to get some promotion. I don't want that. That's not what I'm interested in. And I feel like because you're that core audience, it's safe to ask you for help because you'll get what I'm trying to do. I'm looking for people who have a really interesting story or a really interesting process. And I'm not looking to collab, so please don't suggest other people with huge followings. We all know how it works. You know, I do a film on them, they do one on me. We get each other's audiences and grow our channels. All that stuff leaves me totally cold and I'm pretty cynical about it. I really wanna find people who don't have a big following and tell their story. So please suggest people who you think they have an interesting journey or process, but not many people know about it and help me bring that film to this channel so it can encourage you and me on our journeys. So with those two things in mind, please don't recommend yourself or your friends for purely promotional purposes and don't recommend people with huge followings already. Their story is already being told. But if you believe you know somebody who really needs their story told and it would inspire the rest of us, please jump on my website, use the contact form and send me an email. Let me know who they are and why you believe their story needs to be told. And please don't be offended if I don't get to your suggestion. I've already got a list of people that I'm going through and I wanna keep that list refreshed, but if I get a load of emails coming in, I just won't have the time to get to everybody. But I really appreciate you making the effort to help me out. On top of these films, I'll also be keeping all the other sorts of videos going that I do on this channel, including tutorials on a bunch of different topics and the more philosophical videos that I make. And I'll still be making an effort to make those videos in particular relevant to people in any creative field, not just photographers. I also hope this year to be digging in more on filmmaking tutorials as well, things like lighting an interview well and how to shoot cinematic looking b-roll and editing techniques and pacing and how to use music in your edits as well so if you're interested in that sort of thing keep an eye out for those the way i have this channel set up and the way i think about it is actually represented in the five playlists that it's split up into which is featured photographers philosophical portrait photography street photography and editing and i'm always trying to feed each of those streams and make sure they're getting new content so that's the videos but in other news Collection 3 is now out and available for purchase. For those of you who might be new to this channel and don't know what this is, this is a book of photography that I put out every year. And obviously being Collection 3, this is the third year. It has 90 images in it, uh, 45 black and white images and 45 color images. And it's peppered throughout with quotes from some of the videos from last year. and just serves as a nice little time capsule for me and hopefully for you of where I went and what I saw and some of the work that I produced that I'm really proud of. It's printed on really nice thick uncoated matte stock like some of my favorite zines so it gives it quite a plush feel and it's 21 by 21 centimeters if you're interested in the size. This year I'm using a fulfillment service for shipping. In previous years I've tried to do it myself and had all the boxes of books delivered to my house, put them all in envelopes, put address labels and everything and then had to take the books down to the post office and I could only take 100 at a time because I could fit 50 in a suitcase. So I'd be dragging two huge suitcases down the road to the post office dumping them off and having to process everything. And I'm pretty sure the guy down the road from me thinks I'm a drug dealer walking past with two huge suitcases. So to prevent that kind of thing, I've decided to use a fulfillment service. So all the books aren't with me, they're actually with them. And that means that I can't sign any this year. So apologies for that. But if I see you in real life, I'd obviously love to sign it for you in person if that's the sort of thing you want. And a bunch of you in the previous two years had asked that all international deliveries be tracked and signed. So I've gone ahead and organized that this year. So if you're looking at checkout and thinking, wow, the international delivery costs have gone up a bit, that explains why those are all now tracked and signed. UK deliveries, I'm still just using first class, so UK delivery prices are gonna stay the same. And just a reminder that these are limited editions and when they're gone, they're gone. I have no plans at the moment to reprint old editions and I don't want you to be disappointed. Every year I have people emailing me saying I really wanted a book, but I waited and then they were all sold out. And last year they were all gone by the beginning of March. This year I have ordered some more, uh, but I also know that my audience has grown quite a lot. So don't wait. If you are keen on a copy, get one now rather than later. And to all of you who purchase these every year, I just wanna say a huge thank you because you guys are the reason that I get to keep this channel going and keep making these films so you can watch them free of charge. And that said, this channel will always be free to watch. Making these films for you is an absolute joy. And hearing how it's inspiring you and helping you on your own journeys is really motivation enough for me to keep going long into the future. I have had people asking how they can support on a more ongoing basis, which I obviously really appreciate. And there's even a couple of people out there who every time I post a video, they go to my website and hit my little donate button and throw in some money, which no one's asking them to do that. And obviously I would keep making these films regardless, 
but it's really, really appreciated that you wanna get involved that way. I have had a few of you ask me to start a Patreon so you can support that way, which I also appreciate. And I actually went through the whole process. I set everything up, all the reward structures and everything, and I almost hit live, but then I looked down those reward tiers and realized that suddenly half my time was gonna be taken away from filmmaking and I would have to work on this as almost a separate thing. And that kind of defeats the purpose for me. I want my time to be spent shooting photographs and making these films. But in the last year, YouTube's rolled out channel memberships. And that's just a way that if you want, you can donate $5 a month to this channel. And I think I get like $3 of that. And that just helps things keep ticking along. It's been live for about nine months on my channel and I haven't talked about it here yet, but some of you have discovered it on your own and hit that join button either on my channel page or below the videos and you've signed up for that and I really, really appreciate that. So if that's something you're interested in, it's definitely something you could do. But remember, there is no obligation. These videos will always be free to watch. Then just a quick reminder that I will be running a retreat in June. I spoke about it on a video towards the end of last year. It's almost full. There are only a couple of places left. But if you want to go and check that out, it's a week-long creative retreat in a beautiful location in the Tuscan Hills. It's not specifically a photography workshop. I won't be doing specific teaching about photography techniques. It's time away to take space to maybe get some reviews of your work. We will just hang out as a community together. We'll go visit local towns, shoot some street photography, go on hikes, maybe cook some food together. Just spend good creative time talking as a community, bonding together, giving each other feedback, talking about our journeys and the way that we want to move forward. If you wanna know any more details about the retreat, I will leave a link down below. Head across to the website and spend some time there looking around. And if you have any further questions, just use the contact page to ask. And the last thing is I wanted to find a way to communicate just with the core of this audience. Those of you who've been following along for a while and you feel really invested in this channel and where it's going. So I decided this year to experiment with putting out monthly emails. I'm committing to never emailing you more than once a month, so I don't wanna spam you, but I just wanna tell you about things I'm thinking, maybe recommendations I have, places I'm going and things that I'm getting up to. For example, I do a lot of traveling around and when I go to a new city, I try and do a free meetup. And these aren't workshops or anything, it's just an opportunity for us to hang out, maybe go around the streets and, and shoot together and just talk. But it's often difficult to let people know in advance when I'm coming somewhere and where I'm going to be. In 2019, I did meetups in London, Edinburgh, Brighton, Amsterdam and Hamburg. And in 2020, I've got a bunch more travel planned. I already know that I'm going to be in Canada in May for a while, and I will be in Italy in June. So signing up to these emails is just giving me a way to let you know about my movements so we can organize some of these meetups. So as I say, this is just a way for me to experiment with communicating with you better as my core audience and letting you know what's coming up. So if you'd like to subscribe to those emails, just go across to my website, hit my contact page, and there'll be a block at the top where you can put your email address in to subscribe to those emails. I'm gonna put links to everything I've mentioned down in the description below, but make sure you're following along on YouTube and on Instagram, and if you wanna sign up for those emails, those are the best ways to hear about the things that are coming up. And again, if you're someone who would like to actively support this channel, remembering that there's no obligation, you could pick up a copy of Collection 3, or you could jump on and become a channel member. All those things really help out. And if you don't have finances to support this channel with money, that's absolutely fine. I totally understand. Things out there are difficult for a lot of people. The practical way that you could help me is by helping me spread the word about what I'm doing here. So if you enjoy these films and find them valuable, sharing them with friends, and with family and with colleagues and with media outlets or blogs or podcasts or any way that you can think of to help get the word out about what I'm doing here, that is a really invaluable service that you can give me. So thank you for helping me grow this channel, for even being interested in the first place. I can't tell you how meaningful it's been to me to make these for you and to hear how they're inspiring you. It's been incredibly creatively fulfilling. So this year I'm hoping to make some really meaningful and inspiring films for you to watch. And I'm looking forward to interacting with you online, hearing your response and getting some of your stories as well. And I'm hoping that I get to meet a bunch of you on the road this year because meeting up with people I have already has been such a joy and I'd love to get around and meet as many of you in person as I can. So here's to a great year ahead for all of us. Hey.